Hey guys, what's going on? It's Cubic here and welcome back to another episode of our single player Minecraft series. Uh, today guys, we are going to be doing some more work on the castle. Um, so, last episode we kind of left off, we, uh, we kind of had a little chat. I want to do more of those guys, just kind of like, um, as I'm building, talk to you guys about real life stuff. I think that'd be uh, pretty cool. But yeah, last episode we kind of worked on this wall area. Really haven't touched it since, um, but I, I'm really liking it. I'm liking the way it's feeling. But today, got some more things planned to do here. So, looking at the reference image that we are using for this, um, it's a little bit weird because technically speaking, this thing should drop down about two more blocks, I believe. Um, but we're not going to go for a full-blown copy, just kind of kind of inspired by it, if that makes sense. Um, so what we need to do is grab ourselves some stone slabs. And uh, we will need some more quartz. So we'll have to go on a quartz run here, guys. But we also need some polished andesite. Um, we've got some right here. All right, and there was also some of our inventory, I guess. Um, let's put some, a few things away here, um, just to give us some space in our inventory. So yeah, um, what we need to do here is, first of all, what we're gonna do is extend this out uh, via stone slabs, kind of break it up a little bit. Um, and then, let's have a look here. It is a circular pattern. Um, I guess we can kind of gun for that. I don't, I'm not very good at circles though, so we're gonna have to kind of uh, go with it and see if we can pull it off or not. So I think it's, let's, let me get a good look at this. So it's three, two, two, okay. So I already messed this up once. Three, two, two, then it's ones. How many ones is there? see one two three four five that's like five that i can see yes five okay so one two three four five and two two three and then our how how wide is this see one two three four five six seven eight nine nine blocks wide i hope i counted that right um you guys know i'm good at counting on camera one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we just need to repeat that pattern as we go and that should look pretty good and how many ones were there again Let's see one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So yeah, guys. Um, I guess you know, while we're doing this, one, two, three, four, five. Um, so real life uh, events. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're getting. We're we actually made a circle, guys. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That should line up. Yes, it does. Okay, so. Again with the creepy noises. Um, so real life events, guys. Uh, today, I actually got my new um, distance glasses. I have a pair of reading glasses now and distance. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, reading glasses and distance, which means I my vision is awful. <laughs> Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, which means my, you know, my vision isn't very good. But I don't know. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I don't know if. Of course, we run out of stone slabs. Um, I don't know if you guys have like glasses or so forth. But whenever you like get your, uh, dist especially distance glasses, for the first time, you put those on. And it's just like a whole different world. And I had that uh, experience. Um, that whole different world of being able to see clearly. Uh, the brain is gone. No, I'm kidding. Um, yeah, being able to see clearly is like, I didn't realize how bad my vision was until I actually put them on. 
and like everything's super sharp now for me which apparently that's supposed to be the case i'm not used to that um so yeah i mean uh it's one of those things that i was super super excited about uh being able to get and to be honest i'm kind of like at that age where like i just like it's no longer this uh oh you're wearing glasses you're a nerd you know um that sort of thing like it's there's you know there's no like anybody that says that anymore is just like go back to 2009 seriously um but uh yeah i mean just you know see clearly is really awesome I'm really happy about that um and i'm sure you know for some people you know contacts that's the way to go or whatever some people swear by them my thing is i just can't be asked like cba can't be asked um, you know, constantly hearing my parents, like, eyes are dry, gotta take my contacts out, like, just wear glasses. I mean, come on. Um, thankfully my distance isn't so, like, ridiculously bad at all lined up, guys. We did it! We were successful in making a circle. I just wanna kind of admire this. Um, can we stack up? Yeah, we can stack up here. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I hear all this stuff about, you know, oh, contacts, you know, I gotta take my contacts out, like, just wear glasses, no one cares, um, some people are just, that isn't their thing, did we make a perfect circle, yes, we, yeah, we made a, we made a perfect circle, um, but yeah, so, I mean, that's going on, um, really excited about, uh, being able to finally, see well um like it's not like i didn't think i could see well before but you know that moment of you know holy cow i'm mean, like my vision actually sucks um uh, was pretty awesome you know pretty awesome to uh to you know be able to look across you know where pretty much look anywhere and be able to see it really clearly um so yeah i mean now i've got a pair of uh, vision and or pair of distance and reading glasses which the distance glasses you know the ones I just got are kind of tough to get used to like you know I'm used to I can actually demonstrate this in Minecraft I'm used to be able to like turn like this real quick and uh, that kind of gets me a little bit dizzy at first and you know I just got these things so you know obviously that's gonna you know it takes a little bit to adjust to them but um, as far as like you know that uh that whole you know being able to turn quickly like i i don't realize how much i do that um until you know all of a sudden there's a side effect to doing that um so yeah i mean I, that was uh pretty awesome today being able to pick those up um yeah i mean like and i always had this thing of like you know oh if i were i mean you know or should i say um i'm not all i've had that why can't I talk right now? Um, a lot of people have this vision of like, you know, glasses make them look terrible. I think with the right pair, you're not too bad. I mean, it's not, you know, you're not gonna be uh, without glasses. You know, you might look a lot better than with, but that's when contacts come in. Um, yeah, I mean like, you know, people, uh, people kind of uh, complain about the fact that, you know, or not complain as much as, you know, they just don't wanna wear glasses because they think it makes them look bad, and to be honest, like, um, I'll say this, there was a, there's another person, um, in the eye care area, yeah, I'm gonna go with that, um, that was getting their glasses fitted, and, um, a person put them on, and, you know, they look really, I mean, you know, uh, not to be, like, creepy or anything, but they looked really good. You know, I was about to go on a quartz run there. I was like, oh, we've got a ton of quartz here. Uh, but, you know, they looked, actually, it looked, I think it looked a lot better than they uh, did without glasses. So, I mean, it really just depends upon the person, I guess. I mean, I think I look, um, I don't know, like, I, I can't really judge myself. Um, but, I mean, I think I look pretty good. Uh, I mean, you know, not, you know, I, I mean... I don't know, like, I, I don't know if I look better with or without, you know, glasses. How are we going to move this back one? Um, with or without glasses? You know, I'm not really sure um, as far as that goes. But, you know, I mean, I'm 
pretty happy with them. Yeah, um, so yeah, what I'm doing right now, guys, is uh, I'm just putting down the slabs like this. Um, you know, I know, I know, you guys are gonna say, "Oh, you're putting them, you know, down at this height." It actually, the reference image I'm looking at uh, actually has them that way, and it comes in handy, um, for, you know, rather soon. Um, so yeah, once uh, we kind of get this whole. Uh, area kind of laid out a little bit better. You guys will see where these uh, really come in handy. But yeah, um, so I guess uh, there's a few th other things I guess we can talk about. Um, one of the things is the, the uh, Cloud Moo server. Um, that is now officially changed. Uh, Phoenix got on board with that. I was actually kind of surprised because I was like, oh my gosh, he's going to think we're insane. Um, I don't know why I was surprised. I mean, I guess, you know, Phoenix chill guy, you know, I don't, I'm not sure why I was surprised by that, um, other than, you know, we just, you know, one of those things where, um, it's just a fun name, it's not meant to be serious, guys, so don't take it seriously, uh, it's just, you know, fun name, um, I've actually worked out, uh, two new intros, um, one for this series, which you guys have probably seen, and you guys are probably like, whoa, um, <laughs> not really, um, you know, I found that intro, on YouTube, and I was like, you know, it, it really, I haven't seen anyone use that intro, and I thought it, was, you know, it looked really good, um, I thought it looked pretty cool, Iron Golem, he was smashing inside a zombie's head, um, that was a little bit morbid, uh, but yeah, and then I also designed my own, um, Cloud Moo intro, which, uh, incorporates the logo, um, unfortunately, the editing software that I use, Windows Movie Maker, um, does not allow, like, I want to have, like, you know, um, let's just say, like, I'm running, and then, you know, you see like the cloud moo thing come up, like where my uh, inventory is, like the logo, transparent logo come up, and you know the whole like music and sound effect that I have to it and so forth. I'd love to be able to do that, um, but that's like a, a Sony Vegas or uh, After Effects thing um, that I'm just not capable of doing right now. Um, so yeah, I mean, just kind of design my own little thing. Um, I think it looks really good. So yeah, um, you guys will have to let me know once that ep once a new episode of uh, Cloud Moo airs. So yeah, um, right now, guys, I'm kind of going off on like my own little thing, like my own little um, ideas. I had an idea for what I want to do with this pathway here. Um, yeah, we are using a lot of quartz. Um, uh, yeah, we do have to go in a course one, but what I want to do is kind of connect this. Oh, this dog is barking. Stop! Shut up! So, yeah, um... <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> now they're gonna, gonna get in trouble for that. Um, this is my neighbor's dog, so not my dog. But I was well-behaved. Um, yeah, so... What we need to do is we need to do a quartz run. But yeah, going back to the intros... Um, I've been really excited. I'm really excited to use these. Um, you know, the uh, chest, the minecart chest one, I, I like, but uh, I feel like it's a little. I don't know. I use it a lot, so I kind of get tired of that song. Um, you know, the but it is a good song. I'll probably you know throw it in here now and then. Uh, the intro, you know, use it for maybe I don't know, you know, mini games or something like that. You know, just in case you, you guys are liking that intro, or whatever. Um, just kind of mix it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, we need to do a quartz run, guys. If I'm not mistaken. No, I'm not. So yeah, we need to do a quartz run, guys. So, oh my gosh!
Alright guys, so it is that time in the episode where we do our subscriber mine shaft. And today's subscriber is going to be animation. Um, he's got a bunch of like accent letters afterwards, so I'm assuming it's a Spanish uh, channel, but animation. Hopefully I spelled animation right. Please tell me I spelled that right. Oh gosh, people are going to hate me. I knew that was wrong. Animate, anim, animation. There we go. Animation. So, yeah, I mean, kind of talked about uh, some stuff already, guys. But uh, just want to talk to you guys about the Cloud Moo server. So, if you guys are interested in joining the server, please drop a comment below. Let me know. Um, also, make sure that it's your the channel that you upload on, not just some random channel. I've had a few people that are like, you know, would you be willing to reset the server? No, we are not resetting the server. We just got started. There's a difference. I've had a one conversation with somebody who's just like insisting that we reset the server, and it's like, look, you know, I get it. I get why people, you know, people want to be involved at the start, but it's not like you know, if you guys are keeping up with that series, we're not, you know, as far along as you know I am in this world. Like. If, if, uh, if I was to join a server where everybody's got, like, you know, enchanted diamond swords, pickaxes, armor, you know, beacons, crazy stuff like that, I mean, I, I would still play on it, but, you know, it wouldn't be as fun as, you know, starting from the beginning, but we're all kind of still kind of at our beginning stages. Um, like, for me, when it comes to Minecraft stuff, like, you know, that series is for me just to kind of, you know, relax, just chill out, play normal Minecraft, not really get too crazy with building or anything like that. Um, but, uh, you know, so for some people who are looking to, like, insane server builds, I'm not really going to do as much as just focus on my base and just have some fun. But, uh, you know, for some people you know, you want to, uh, who want to join, they want to see the server reset, and that's just not happening. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested, drop a comment, let me know. Um, I've had a, a few people who are interested, so I'll have to get in contact with them. But, you know, we're just trying to pull a group together to play Minecraft, have a good time. Is this the end? Yes, it is. So yeah, um, i got to keep more conversations like that. It makes it super easy to kind of end it off there. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, no lapis or diamonds in this mineshaft for uh, our friend animation uh, sorry about that bro um yeah so let's go back to the castle i guess and we're going to continue to work on that area that we were working on and uh i've got some ideas guys so you can see you guys there in a sec all right guys so we are back here at the castle and i've got some ideas like i said and i think I Thinking that we do it almost like a bridge feeling um, with that area that we were working on. Let's quickly make some slabs here. Um, we'll just make that many. Um, probably going to need more, but I'll uh, get you guys a good idea of what we're trying to go for here. Um, so yeah, what I'm thinking here is this kind of being a bridge area. We kind of need to make sure we lay this out properly. Get rid of that. It's no good. We are. Eh. There we go. So yeah, I'm thinking like extend this out just a little bit here. Um, there we are. That would be a good amount of space, just so we have access to majority of the areas within here. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe just connect this all the way. I think that might look a little bit better. Yeah. Um, so I'm thinking like maybe some lava in here might be cool. But let's go ahead and of course we don't have andesite on us. Let's go ahead and grab some andesite and we'll put that underneath. Um, maybe some water might be a little bit uh, better, better themed. Um, yeah, we don't have too much andesite in here. So yeah, we're gonna have to uh, grab some back here. But I'm thinking uh, water probably might be a better option to go for me. Stick some glowstone under there, could be cool. 
Uh, maybe have uh, water coming down from the ceiling um, and going into there. It could be pretty cool as well. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and grab a little bit andesite here. It takes so long to run over here. Come on. Get up here. All right. Let's go ahead and whoops, grab a little bit of that. And we'll just make that into stack. That should be good. So yeah, um, by the way, in case you guys are wondering about the whole subscriber mind chat, I'm pretty much just going in order of people who have subscribed. So, you know, if you subscribe like now, it could be, you know, a few episodes before, you know, you get your name. It's pretty much just in all fairness to everyone, um, you know, who's been with me for the longest time, I want to give them, a, you know, the shout out to. So who, who's ever uh, you know, been with me for a long period of time, you know, you could most likely be getting a shout out here pretty soon, where somebody brand new, probably not as likely to, unless, you know, magically I get through all of them really quickly, which is highly unlikely based on the rate of episodes that we're getting out here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get all this place down. Just realize there's no real good way of getting out of here. Let's go ahead and break that one. So yeah, but uh, you guys get where I'm going with this area. I think it could be really nice. I'm kind of hoping I had a bucket on me. I can craft one. Um, fill it up with water just to give you guys a good idea. Kind of give it a sense of almost complete. Um, you know, should be nice to do. I don't really want to get too crazy into like a fire theme. I think that would be kind of uh, not really you know, blending in with what we're going for here. Kind of a green, natural area, but it has the quartz idea going here. Um, I think it's a little bit better than fire. You know, that probably wouldn't work. <sighs> Figures. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and place down some water there. Water here and should be all infinite water source now right here so we we'll just kind of fill this in hopefully we get everywhere that we need to go um, let's go ahead and turn off shaders so you guys can see um, and also we can see the the lines here a little bit better so yeah probably just, just jump in here so nice having depth strider eh. um, so Phoenix actually messaged me as wondering what kind of shaders I use. I use the uh, GLSL, yeah, GLSL shaders mod, um, which is it, it's an all vanilla mod. Um, show you guys like I can select different shaders, different types of shaders. I use uh, Silders Vibrant Shaders because it's got the, kind of the best color in my opinion. Um, doesn't look too too bland. Yeah, um, that's the shaders I use. If you guys I uh, want to know how to download that and so forth. I'll probably do a tutorial video maybe sometime um, here soon. Um, just because it's kind of coming up a little bit more as we get more subscribers. Yeah, um, that's why I use GS GLSL Shaders Mod. They've got like a whole tutorial on uh, the download page for you guys to look at. So yeah, um, this kind of river area is looking I guess water area is looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it that off camera. But uh, unfortunately, guys, we are out of time for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Gonna try and get a lot more done here off camera, and that way I come back with a little bit more done, a little bit more progress here on the cast. We kind of need to get this finished up here, guys. Uh, just because you know, if we spend on the project way too long, it gets a little bit boring, a little bit. Um, you know how that goes. Uh, so yeah. Anyway guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.